สวัสดีครับ and good afternoon today is Monday the 11th of January 2021 and this is the English language summary of here at the Center for COVID Situation Administration or CCSA so first and foremost um, the spokesperson had mentioned that Uh, for some days during uh, this week, he might be have to be on uh, official duty inspecting uh, the uh, public health uh, facilities and situation in certain uh, provinces in the northeast of Thailand, Isan uh, area. Um, so, therefore, there might be a uh, relay of uh, on-site uh, uh, information from 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 those areas uh, on television as well. But in any case, of course, the English language uh, broadcast will uh, continue to summarize the situation for uh, the English language audience viewing uh, here in Thailand and on social media from around uh, the globe. So, just some recap: uh, the spokesperson mentioned about the global uh, numbers today. Uh, it has reached um, almost uh, 90 uh, million uh, infections uh, globally already, which is quite alarming. For the number of deaths around the world, it's almost at the point of two million. It's 1.9 million uh, fatalities, wherein one country has been faced with fatalities of up to 300,000 fatalities. The top countries in on on this list. Luckily, in Thailand, we have been able to treat uh, the infected persons uh, who are who have been traveling to Thailand or live in Thailand. Uh, and the death uh, toll remain at 67, which is very low compared to other countries, uh, proportionately and uh, in 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 relation to population as well. And Thailand remains at the 128th uh, rank around the world. So, for the number of uh, cases that we have for today, there's a slide up for you today. I'd like to present this in a reverse format, just uh, for a change. Uh, firstly, uh, look at the green box you see on screen. The number of total recoveries that we have for today is 6,566. This is actually more than half of the number of cumulative cases we have in Thailand. So, the number of cases we have in Thailand, more than half, well, more than half, have recovered. So that speaks something for uh, the strength of our uh, public health system, which. I'm very happy to, to say this. So, starting off with that in a reverse form, for today new recoveries we have 138. The cumulative total number of people recovered, discharged is 6,566. That's a very good number, because the total number of cumulative cases in Thailand is over 10,000, as we mentioned yesterday, 10,547. So, well more than 50% have recovered, and we're hoping that the green box will uh, take. Over the the red uh, the number in the red colored box uh, very very soon. For the cumulative number of cases 10,547, that already includes the new confirmed case that we have for today, which is 249. It's been in the 200s for a couple of days now. Out of this number 249, 176 cases are from local transmission. 48 cases from active case finding, 11 cases from those found in state quarantine, and 14 cases from those who have just arrived from abroad. So, if you do the math, we actually have uh, less than 4,000 people currently in treatment, 3,914 in treatment. So, hoping that they, this number will be joining the number of people who have recovered very, very soon uh, in the green box. And no additional fatalities. So, this just some observations from the briefing of the spokesperson just now. For the general overview, we can notice that although the new cases, the number of new cases, seem to be stable at uh, 200, 200 plus per, per day now, these numbers cannot uh, fully be trusted, of course, because we still have to a lot of work to do in terms of. Active case finding, the factories, the number of workers in s a m u t s a k h o n are in the hundreds of thousands. The factories in the hundreds, the uh, workers in the hundreds of thousands, and this active case finding in s a m u t s a k h o n in this area is focused on the factories, uh, which we will continue to do that on a daily basis. So we cannot trust the numbers that uh, and that they won't uh, in increase. 
Okay, we don't know yet, but hopefully we hope that 200 per day will be decreased uh, on a daily basis to 100 and, and the like. The spokesperson, before, uh, before uh, going into some information that is useful for the English language audience, I'll recap also the uh, Q&A portion of the spokesperson just now. He addressed some of the uh, inquiries. One was from the Thai PBS uh, channel station wherein the question was that the private sector uh, was interested uh, in joining or collaborating with the government sector in terms of uh, in building uh, more field hospitals in, in that project and of course the government side is very appreciative of that it's a very good proposal it will actually expedite and, and, and make the construction of uh, newer uh, field hospitals even faster, even faster. And of course in these field hospitals we utilize various uh, measures and techniques to be able to check on COVID uh, for, for the people in the field hospital, uh, including the, we utilize, we utilize the, the pool saliva sample technique as well in these field hospitals. So that's a very good initiative, very good proposal from the private sector and we will be looking into uh, furthering this uh, cooperation with the private sector. Another question was about the risky area, gray, dark uh, activities, vice, and all these things. The question was particularly about illegal uh, congregation, illegal meetings of people who meet to, to take drugs, uh, just simply put. Uh, the class, these, these are very, very risky and they can actually become a new cluster in themselves. So this can be a cluster just like the way that gambling dens uh, and other gray uh, type of activities have, have already been proven to be new uh, clusters of, of the spread of, of COVID. So we've addressed the gambling dens, and of course, drugs is illegal, uh, illegal, illicit drugs. That's something that the enforcement authorities are putting a focus on because not only, only are they illegal, but they can also be a new, uh, a new cluster. <coughs> so therefore, uh, please avoid all dangerous activities, vice activities. Uh, look into your personal hygiene. Uh, many activities will actually uh, are, are actually risky for your personal hygiene and the, the group of people that, that you meet. So therefore, we have to put an extra uh, attention on, on that, especially on gray area activities, illegal vice activities. So just some uh, pieces of information that might be useful to the English language audience. First is this a general analysis of the tendency of the current wave. Uh, yesterday, I gave a summary of uh, research report and analysis from the Ministry of Higher Education Innovation Research uh, and they had made a good um, research and analysis on the 365, I'm sorry, 363 uh, days uh, since we uh, learned about the first COVID case in Thailand in January of last year. 363 days later, which I think was the 9th of January, uh, it was the day that we met, we found the 10,000th uh, patient in Thailand, 10,000. And that was analysis yesterday. But for today, just some additional information for, for today, that on the overall uh, development of the situation, the analysis conducted by the health ministry now suggested that the current wave of COVID may likely slow down within two weeks or by the end of January. Now I mentioned that the numbers cannot be trusted, but if by chance the numbers have a trustworthy meaning in themselves, if the numbers would mean anything, if the numbers are lower each day, if this trend continues, most likely we'll have a slowdown of this outbreak within two weeks or by the end of January, hopefully. The data collected by the Disease Control Department indicates that 19 provinces in the country are still COVID-free since the beginning, since last year. 19 have not been, 19 provinces are provinces which have not found any COVID case at all. And they have had no active cases uh, since the beginning of last year. Another number, aside from the 19, is 21. 21, another further 21 provinces have recorded no cases 
of the virus in the past seven days. So that's, that's good news. That's uh, why the numbers are uh, sort of like stable, but we cannot trust them 100%. So 21 provinces, no new case in the past seven days, a very good and positive sign. Hope that we can report to you that the 19 provinces that are COVID-free remain COVID-free forever. And I hope to report to you that the 21 provinces uh, with no virus in the past seven days, the number will expand. I hope that tomorrow we'll be able to say 30 or 35 provinces with no cases in the past seven days. The decrease in the number of new cases is due to the effective action of the control measures we have by many, many provincial administrations and the cooperation from the public, of course, the, to achieve the goal of overcoming this second wave, this new wave, uh, CCSA advises members of the public to strictly continue to strictly observe the guidance, avoid crossing provincial borders, traveling uh, inter-province unless necessary, uh, if possible, and closely follow the local regulations and restrictions and measures. And we had uh, some images shown to you on screen on the work of the authorities in, uh, in different provinces and here uh, in the government as well. Another interesting part of the information that we have is the situation update in Samut Chakhon province. Where in yesterday, it's interesting to learn that almost 300 Myanmar migrant workers have been discharged from the field hospital in Samut Chakhon, which was the first large group that had been discharged from Samut Chakhon to have recovered from COVID, and there will be more uh, patients in that cluster to be discharged soon. So an update on that, uh, because the authorities have facilitated them as well in their commute return, the return back uh, to the area that they uh, reside in, live uh, in the central shrimp market area. They've also been issued COVID-free uh, certificates to ensure their health status, which would allow them to return to work uh, in the future. However, Samut Sakhon province remains committed in conducting active case findings continuously, as I mentioned, despite the new number of cases as not as high as in the past few weeks, hopefully stable, the province is prepared to accommodate more patients in the two new field hospitals that we have already now being set up, which are expected to be in operation within this week. And just some heartwarming images, that image that you see here on screen of uh, foreign migrant labor, some of which may have been discharged and been treated uh, very well by the health authorities in our health system. And I'd like to urge, of course, all healthy uh, members of the public to consider doing one thing as well, donating blood. Uh, yesterday, the Thai Red Cross Society issued an urgent appeal for blood donations as supplies uh, across the country are uh, low, crit running critically low. Uh, the Red Cross revealed that the amount of blood being donated has fallen by uh, almost 50% as a result of the, the new uh, COVID uh, infection, the new wave, which also caused the mobile uh, blood collection uh, units, the, the, bus, the bus, buses, the blood collection buses, to suspend uh, their, uh, their operations. So these blood donations can still be given at the National Blood Center of the Thai Red Cross Society. Uh, in Bangkok, it's at the Ongri Dunang Road, uh, and also in Bangkia District, and various centers as announced by the uh, Thai Red Cross Society. And those who wish to donate blood are asked to reveal the status of their travel, the status of their health, their recent travel history, of course, especially uh, any uh, recent visit to high-risk uh, places. Otherwise, they would be suggested uh, naturally to postpone their blood donation. So just in closing, I'd like to make this opportunity to once again thank all Thai citizens, all foreign uh, friends who call Thailand home, who have downloaded Ma Chana application, which is now used, has been downloaded almost 4.4 million times already. Yesterday, the new download number was 1.5 uh, million in addition to those who already downloaded. So the total we have now is around four to five uh, million. Um, users nationwide. Um, personally, I have used the application and can assure you that it's totally efficient, of course, cost-free, uh, efficient, effective in position tracking, not intrusive, and would 
be very, very uh, supportive of the work of our health personnel who have been working hard to keep our numbers in Thailand uh, 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 low and not, not increasing. This would support the disease control efforts of all authorities and relieve the workload of our medical personnel. And I'd like to thank you for your attention uh, today. Uh, we gave you a recap of the Thai language version of the briefing and some information that would be useful to the English language audience. So once again, I'd like to remind you that the information in English can be found uh, on our social media uh, platforms, uh, be it the provincial measures in the TAT News platform of the Tourism Authority or the MOI COVID, the uh, CCSA uh, Facebook page, and all the other news uh, outlets avail avail available to you and updated to you uh, constantly throughout uh, the day today. So this is all I have for today and uh, thank you very much. Hope you all stay safe and stay healthy and we will see you again tomorrow as always. Thank you. สวัสดีครับกลับขอบพระคุณนะคะท่านนัทพนุ